Hi guys, here we've got a Yamaha Stage Pass 300 PA system. That's what the system looks like. It comes with a stand and everything, but I use it for my drums, electronic drums. Um, just show you the back here. It's got an amplifier unit in the back, which um, is removable. I'll just pop that out for you. That's the amplifier system there. And that's what the problem is. Um, it's a bit noisy. So, if I just um, switch it on, I'll show you what the problem is. And you can quite hear there, noisy, sounds like noisy fans inside. So I'm gonna pop that out and have a look. Pop it up and have a look. Just switch it off. So, first and foremost, um, just gonna undo it. Uh, there's eight screws, um, Allen key head screws around the side. I'll just undo them to access the inside. But um, I'll just speed this section up for you. And now that I've got the screws um, removed, it's just a matter of accessing the inside of the unit. Um, there's a couple of power cables and a ribbon cable, just undoing the ribbon cable here. And then there's a couple of power connectors inside. Just undo the last one there, which will free off this top section. And I'll just put that to one side for the minute. Um, there's two fans inside. Um, that's the main fan there, the bigger fan. There's two screws, one here. And one over here to re to um, release it. So here you can see me just undoing the screws here to release the main fan, which I'm gonna have a look at today. And I'll just remove the screws, take the screws out with the uh, magnetic screwdriver. So that's the fan there. I'll just unplug it from its connection onto the PCB. Just put that to one side. Now I've got to access the other fan, which is inside here, which means I'm gonna to have to uh, remove this whole section inside. Um, so I'm just undoing it here. I'll have to fast forward this section also because there's quite a few screws. And then you can see me just taking the last screw out, and it's just a case of lifting the whole unit out of its plastic casing, like so. And then, all I've got to do here is remove the smaller fan. That's a smaller fan there. So I'll just melt it on the screws, press forward this section. screws there you can see got the second fan out slightly smaller than the other one though it's free so at this stage what I'm going to do is give them the back got the um, and the out with the uh, brush attachment soft brush attachment just get Little bit of dust on the fan blades. That's the smaller fan. And you can see the bigger fan. Just can get rid of the dust off the blade, this one. And then, once I've done that, I'm just going to use this um, wet wipe just to clean the blades careful because they're brittle, don't want to break any of the actual blades themselves. So I'll just get this wet wipe in there just to get rid of the dust that the vacuum didn't um, clean. So I'll just give you a close up here. If you peel back the sticker on the back of the fan blades, there's a bearing there. And all I do is uh, just a couple of drops of oil in there onto the bearing in the middle. And then just give a little spin. 
and then it's just a matter of putting the sticker back over which should hold the oil in I'll just peel that sticker back over there as you can see now that that's done I've done it to both fans so I'll show you there, nice and clean the bigger fan you can get a little close up there like brand new and it's been freely also so I'm just going to refit the small fan into its um, housing it's under the metal case on the inside of the amplifier unit just put the screws in there and then this whole PCB which you have to handle with care because some of the capacitors are still holding voltage so I'll just grab all of it by the um, coolers as you can see there, let's place that back inside here and inside this housing you can see there's a lot of dust in here so I'm just going to use some wet wipes to give it a clean not sure exactly what year this unit was manufactured but it has got a packed test label on it which is um, stamped 2010 last time it was tested so I've just made of um, reinstalling the unit put the main PCB back inside and uh, with the fan I'll just show you here I've plugged it back onto the PCB and I'm just uh, refitting it and it's just a matter of putting the two screws back in which I removed initially let's fast forward this section as I'm putting all the screws back in and then I put connected all the connectors back together and the ribbon cable so it's just a matter of um, closing the unit back up here's a pack label um, with the 2010 test date on it so it's pretty much complete now uh, just a matter of putting the screws back in the allen key eight allen key screws as you can see here I'm just, um, just refitting them screwing it back in and then after that I'll just give it a clean give it a wipe down with the wet wipes and that's the unit complete now let's get a close up that's a model number there stage pass uh, 300 um, Yamaha so switch it on and as you can see nice and quiet now get a little close up there nice and quiet and uh, that pretty much concludes with that thanks for watching once again and uh, please subscribe